Hello, everyone. Not gonna lie, uh, thanks to the slight rain today, I was feeling a little bit tired, but um, thankfully, that's why I have Bang by my side, because as the old saying goes, the show must go on, especially when it comes to a game like Front Mission 3 and all the stuff we have been learning from there. So, we will continue, but uh, first, just a quick little update on uh, a few things to catch up on. Uh, obviously, I have not checked the spoilers for this game, but I did uh, look up a strategy guide just to see how many uh, main battles there are in the story. Apparently, we're a little halfway through uh, the story campaign, which is the only real reason why I was going through. Not necessarily to see uh, the story of the bits, but to see uh, from where we started our journey to where we are now, uh, how far off is the destination. So, pretty much you can imagine how many streams it's taken me to get to here. You can imagine roughly that many more, just to finish this one campaign, maybe even one less if we do, uh, one stream less if we do that good, number one. Number two, um, in order to show it off, uh, we have to go into the network because, you know, otherwise we're doing it wrong. I mean, yes, we get to see the whole startup motion, which honestly I could probably do without, but then we'd miss out on seeing this lovable furry guy. Um, uh, no, the main reason why I'm going here is um, I did check uh, a bit of the whole um, battle simulation thing. Uh, the only real difference between um, these are whether you want the AI of the enemies to be real dummies or to have your wanzers armed to the teeth and actually be competent. Thankfully, I was able to win a few battles, but aside the point, that's pretty much all it would show from there. Now that I know how far the story goes, let's see if we can actually, you know, make progress here. So, with that said, um, let me just do a quick setup, make sure that everyone has enough items that they need. Uh, doesn't have anything... To Missiles repair, repair and restore, nothing. Repair, shield repair, repairs, restore low, nothing. Alright. So, yeah, we're good. Um, am I able to update the. I, and again, it's been a while since we've seen a new network area, let alone a new store that will have upgrades, so. I get the feeling uh, we'll do one battle, check the network store, see if there's anything worth upgrading. Because at this point, I feel like there's really nothing to do, but eh, who am I to judge? I'm glad our base was safe. Yeah, better thank us for that. I think Emma took it hard, though. She seems troubled. Hey, shut up. Ouch! What was that for? It was too bad for about Ivan. But at least now we know exactly where Lukov is. Chong, we're returning back to headquarters right now. I'm bringing the materials that Ivan brought with him. Of course. And please, be sure to send my regards over to the commander. Will you commend us for our achievements? The commander will decide that. As far as I'm aware, I only report the facts. So yeah, as far as actually getting updates, nothing new there. <laughs> I hope so too. Also, how's it going, uh, Toll Panzer? Hmm? How are you? How long do you plan to keep me here? Let me out! Still have the energy to complain, I see. Take me back to my brother. I'm afraid I can't just yet. After all, you are the key to my future. Well, both you and Emma. 
What do you want? What will you do to my sister and me? You don't know anything about your past, do you? M my past? What about my past? Oh, you'll find out when she gets here. Leave my sister alone. You are one of the chosen ones. Why are you so emotional? Stay here quietly. No, wait, I'm still not... Kazuki, Emma, please be safe. So we were at Xiamen and heading back to Guangzhou. Which again, um, I am not a ja uh, Japanese, Chinese um, linguistic, so if I'm butchering any of the names, please bear with me. I am trying my best to pronounce them correctly. Let's see. We need to do something. About what? Ball's plan will affect us if we leave him alone. Huang. With all due respect, I have a favor to ask of you. What would that be, Koski? I believe Lukov might be at the Ravnui Embassy over in Shanghai. If that's the case, we need to get there ASAP. That's impossible! Wh why Don't get me wrong. It's not that easy to get into Shanghai. Don't worry. We're experienced enough. We'll be fine. <laughs> Don't overestimate yourselves. <clears throat> Koski. I hate to say it, but the commander's right. Luo? But why? Listen to me. There are three possible routes to Shanghai from Gang, Guangzhou. One runs along the coastline. The Najing and Hanzhou forces. However, inland and the Shanghai's naval forces will crush us, even with all of our units. So the defense line around Shanghai is perfect, then. The western route also passes the Shengdu and Lanzo forces. Well, what about the third option? A surprise attack on Wuhan, but... Would that even be possible? Yes, but... The rapid reaction force overwhelmed us back in the past. The problem is that these special forces show up where there is no base. So you can't figure out their point of origin then. Even during the Xiamen incident, they knew exactly where Ivan was. There must be a supply base nearby, but we're not sure. Why don't we figure out their point of origin and attack there? We tried, but their response was always one step ahead of us. My goodness. Isn't there anything we can do? No. <laughs> How's it going, oh pie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That actually caught me off guard. That actually caught me off guard. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, hey, don't yell. But we now have a specific target. All we have to do is find it and destroy it. Then go to Lukov. Where's Emma? Uh, I think it's best we leave her alone for now. Well, you're not going to bother her, are you, Kazuki? It's what makes you say that? Is Huang seriously considering attacking their home base? Of course. They're talking about taking over the country. Can't we lure them out somehow? Act as a decoy and lure out the rapid reaction force? We really not be able to find their base. <laughs> That's impossible. No. It might
might be worth a try. Dennis isn't being a naysayer. It's probably the sound thing to do. Then let's get ready. So yeah, we could go to the shop, but I don't even know if it has anything new to buy. Uh, also, those are parts. Those are parts. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Nah, it's looking like the same. <laughs> How's it going, Jeff? Oh, hi, Jeff. What about computer skills? Hmm. So that's pretty much the same thing. Huh. I mean, I can do NSFW speedruns through the internet. Does that count as computer skills? <laughs> Corrected, there are parts upgrades. In that case, yes. It's not much, but it's something. Hmm. <laughs> so it looks like the only real upgrade is the health. Which again, not saying no. <laughs> it's something at least. So let's go ahead and take care of that. is the last one we need to work on. Oh, never mind. There was Marcus. There was Marcus. Hmm. Hey, there we go. Now after that, that's all of them. Okay, so nothing else. It was worth coming here. Wasn't much, but it was something. Case, I'm gonna go look for her. All right. Hey, don't be away for too long. It, it's not like that. <laughs> Baka. <laughs> it's not like I have a crush on Emma or anything. Baka. <laughs> ah, there you are, Koski. Are you here to interrogate me again, Emma? Are you still I'm, I'm a virgin? Now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just filling in the blanks here. Uh. Yes, I know. I I start my streams off with a warning if you are of age. Even then, it doesn't go that dark. No. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> You seem depressed since Yong Ding. Yeah, it's not like me. Don't think too much about it. I'm sorry, but I can't stop thinking about Ivan. Why? You want to know? Uh, I mean, if you want to tell me. I'm teasing, but seriously, I need you to know this. 
from the moment I saw Ivan. I don't know why, but there was something familiar about him. Familiar? I don't know why, but it's not just Ivan. Huh? I felt the same way about the imaginary number in Gwilin. Hmm? You mean Serov? Yeah. And Lukov, too. Lukov? But I have no idea why I feel this way. Emma. I must not be making any sense, then. <sighs> Don't worry. Let's head on back. I think we have a plan in order to get into Shanghai. Shanghai? <laughs> That's right! We have to rescue Alyssa from Baal! Calm down, Emma. We still don't know for certain if Alyssa is indeed in Ball. But Ball killed my parents! He's still conducting his insane experiments! I know. You know I want to rescue Alyssa just as much as you do. That's why we need to make this mission succeed. Okay, Koski. back. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Did you guys have fun? Oh, Stop yeah. We had a, laughing. We had a lot of fun. Let's go talk to Huang. Yes. <laughs> Huang, I need to talk to you. What is it? I want to lure out the rapid reaction force. Do you understand the risk that's involved there? Yes. <laughs> you must have a specific plan, then. What is it? Well, according to Luo, the west and coastline are out. That's correct. So then why don't we try luring out the rapid reaction force over in Wuhan? We've already tried and failed that many times over. I'm not finished yet. I'm saying we divide our forces into decoy and search squads. While the decoy squad fights the rapid reaction force, the search squad will tail them in. Where we lure them out? I recommend going through Guangdong province, over to Guangxi province then. And then, from Guizhou to Hubei province. Wandering around aimlessly won't do you anything. So why don't we run a rumor that we're sending a transport squad to our branch in Zhangjiaku? Sure. So, who will be the decoy? We'll do it. Are you insane? You'll be outnumbered! If it gets too dangerous, there's no shame in retreating. Besides, our job is purely to distract the rapid reaction force. And we'll observe the rapid reaction force's movements. Right. Let's get started. Let's begin. I mean, no offense, it's already been close to half an hour in this string, so now we're gonna ask you ping, or at least you to ping me, so that way we can start this first battle off. Yeah, that that was a terrible joke, I'm sorry. That was oh. bad. <laughs> Uh, unsubscribed. <laughs> Remove me. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Take me off a list. <laughs> Is it really just going to be us? Are we going to be all right? You're awfully pessimistic. Yeah, yeah, you're always useless when we need you. Shut up. Oh, by the way, is it really okay for us to be going through here? I think there's a broken bridge. It's a dead river. I'm sure it was beautiful long ago. <laughs> that definitely doesn't sound like you. Hey, there's something up ahead. Ugh. Get him? Wait, Koski. They aren't the RRF. Uh, 
Then who is it? You don't know? <laughs> and you call yourselves mercenaries. They're worse than amateurs. Name's Rudolph. And I'm Rebecca. We're... We're... I swear to God, if you mention Team Rocket, I am turning this <laughs> off. Uh, the Wulong Mercenaries! Okay, oh, what a slide. generic name. Then all of a sudden, a uh, chibi wanzer comes in to say, Meowth, that's right. Oh. The Wulong? What, you know them? Not directly. Only by rumors. Apparently there's some mysterious elite mercenary squad. They're working for the DHC. Who we work for is none of your business. There's a juicy bounty on your heads, so we're here to collect it. Man, now what do we do? Should we rock him? We don't have much of a choice now, do we? <laughs> I'm pretty good. You care to try me? But I was gonna say, it can't be that easy, four against two. Where, where is the backup squad? Well, until we start this battle, we'll never know. So let's see, who could use more AP? I guess bring you in. Uh, okay, so let's also... Oh, yeah, and the one other thing I changed uh, was uh, I dropped Marx's shield for uh, Spike, so maybe that'll add some extra firepower to that, but other than that, everything seems to be pretty much the same there. Okay, now I'm really curious why... I'm not seeing more of those men. I'm gonna check the victory conditions. No? Defeat them all. And there there's really no other What what makes them so Oh, they got missiles. Or at least you do. What else do you have? Also, a spike. So, yeah. Dual wielding weapons, both for each side. As for you, uh, just a rifle. So, clearly, um, she's the bigger threat, though. Something tells me that can't be it. But I don't like the fact that it's not showing multiples. I no skills. I not gonna lie, I am a bit concerned. But guess we'll never know unless we try. Oh wait. That is what we want. Uh and yeah. Close enough. damage to the body, that's good. And yeah, I can make a straight beeline for there. Just do that. Concentrate on one at a time. Sweet. 
But of course, no big shock, he's gonna aim a rifle at us, but that's why we got a shield. Where he'll miss! Oh no, you're gonna attack me with your dinky little fist, I'm so scared. You know what? <laughs> Just just for that, I'll attack you with the spike. We'll see how good that is against you. Ow, 71. So, um... What was your great plan again? If this was the best that you can do... I, I, I'm not saying, I'm just saying... Because all I really need to do is do that, and yeah, both your arms are blown off. <laughs> so again, what was your big plan? So doing that, so apparently now accuracy works with the missiles. And just a check, that was on his... Which took damage, so yeah, let's let's go for that. Ow. But that's okay, we blew off his arm. This mission should no longer be a threat. Keyword being should no longer be a threat. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> uh oh. Enemy uh Akiri. about that. Apparently, um, any skill boosts um, that you have um, are nullified, so you can't use them once they hit. But that actually wasn't too bad for what it was. Actually, for you, we'll have you there. And if I'm lucky, yeah, you're already down for the count. Yeah, that's right. Kiss your gun, baby. <laughs> kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Okay, heavy. Oof. Not afraid to shoot down their legs. Not that it matters. Let's already finish off this battle. A shotgun blast in the face, so again I have to ask, what was your big plan? How could I have lost to such brigands? Brigands. The Wulong aren't as great as they say I see. He's not on our side, that's for sure. So you're the ones that are troubling Master Ball. <clears throat> I'm Ball's personal security commander. You see, so Lukov isn't his closest partner. Lukov? Oh. <laughs> Nonsense. Don't mistake me for a puppet like him. By the way, I've already disposed of those pests along the road. Wong's unit's already been eliminated? It was over way too fast. I sincerely hope you will all last longer. <sighs> I should have known it would have been too easy with just those two. See, they are at least competent. They hit me with their shotgun blast, or er, shotgun blast, rifle blast. That alone shows how much more powerful they are. Oh, because I don't have enough. Okay, fair enough. I'll block it with the shield. Oh yeah, that's plenty to block it with that one. Yeah, you are probably... Oh, just a rifle. Ah, but he's got skill plus three and pilot damage. Oof. So yeah, if no one else, he is definitely someone I need to keep an eye on. So 
Zoom plus two. It's guaranteed a hit. Oh, great. Shot to the legs. How dare you. Probably is Lee, so let's go after that. That's seven. So yeah, she would be the next one. Massive body blow damage. Body blow. Or you can do that. that. That works too. Yeah, we gotta get rid of you. Couldn't take out his arms, but I got rid of his body and legs. Something else. Indeed, you do deserve it. Going after my men like that. I can. Saved a special missile for you. There's the body blow we've been looking so much for. And sadly, nothing I can do about this. Ow. This. Yeah, block with the shield.
Hey, how's it going? Good, Mike. Good, good. I'm going to good. pop in for a little bit while I wait for my sister to pick me up for our dinner thing. Alright. Not much, but it's barely enough distance to target you. Also... Damn. Range, but at this rate, it's either hit or miss, and I have to do something against him, since he is obviously a big threat to me. Oh no, I lost my shield! Not that it matters, because I already used up my shield. Hmm. He blew up my shield! But gotta do something since I'm already out of missiles. And with that zoom too, it'll help make my flamethrower that much more accurate. Stop trying to burn my face. And I feel like this is the best. Surrender status. You blew my arms off. And just to make sure that hopefully does very little damage, we use the spike instead. Good. Surrender. One less ones are for us to worry about. There you go. There you go. Get out of my house. thing I can do is counterattack, so why not? Ow. surround him and that will also cause him to surrender. Well, Lee's done all he can do, so now he's a sitting duck. <laughs> Taking damage, that's how he quote unquote likes it. Okay, whatever rocks your boat, or float it, what have you. But yeah, I don't want you to attack him. Instead, go after him. I think just be on the safe side. Have you eject. Although, honestly, wait, could I? No, I can't even eject. So, not much to do there. And I'll just buy my time. Oh man, don't you dare do it. Don't you do it. Oh! Oh boy. Um. 
see. Just gotta hit him. Or at least aim at him. That's all it takes! So now he can move out of the way. Can't advance any closer, but at least now... Like range for there. Hopefully enough shotgun blast hits the body. That'll make him falter. Ah, damn it! Skill three up. That's not good. Ow. And pilot damage. Shit. Just a bit of rusty legs. It's still good. It's still good. God damn it. Miss. 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 Marcus, no! No one shall stand up against Master Ball. I think worst case scenario, it's just one of those uh, walk it off scenarios. You'll be fine. At least I'm hoping that's the case, because if I permanently lost Marcus, I'd be sort of upset. And a level up with the shotgun. I can't find any more. You've gotten even more powerful since Japan. Am I awesome or what? But yeah, I'm pretty sure um, Marcus falling made me lose a couple points in rank. Yeah, kind of a feeling. Uh, silver, I'll take it at least. But yeah, I've got two more uh, Tiong Dongs out of it. But to this point, uh, self otter. thought that was going to be the end of us. Yeah, that was definitely a tough one. Liu, eh? He's good. I don't know if we can beat them again. Anyway, we're quite fatigued. Yeah, let's head on back to HQ before any more show up. Set up. He's walking it off. He's fine. Mm, he'll be fine. All right, I have that too. Um, let's see. Oh, so any accuracy upgrades to save? Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so, you know what? If that's what it takes, I'll, I'll live with it. Also, let's see. Do I have multiples? Uh, Ming Tians and Tian Dong. So, let me actually check something real quick. Uh, let's see. Tian Dongs and... And Ming Tian's Young Sai. How did I forget the Young Sai? <laughs> hmm. So Ming Tian's and Young Sai. Okay, so it looks like I can sell the um, other ones. You let's divide into parts. Sell you off. Sell that, and then I think I said I already had that. So anyway, sell that. 
Keep the Zenislev as a token. And did I do anything with the Shuang? Let's see. No. So let's see if we can fix that. Uh, divide into parts. Alright, let's see if there's any more upgrades I could do. It's less weight. It does increase melee and power, but... Uh, actually... I'm curious about something. I'm gonna hop into the network for a second. Because <clears throat> if I can upgrade those parts, I can see if it's worth the transfer. Also, as an excuse to check out that creature and to see if there are any mail that came in. Ah, it's a good thing too, because there's at least two new males. One for Emma, one for Dennis. Uh, from Luo, report. This is the Rebel Vice Commander, Luo. We started preparing for the invasion of Shanghai. There is a lot of civilian support. Now is our time. We're also getting financial sponsors. Please look at the Rebel Sponsor webpage on our website. The password is Patreon. Oh, sweet! They got their own Patreon. How nice. And Dennis from Sybil. Thanks. Thanks, Dennis, but it's okay. Bates was sent to a psychiatric hospital. I couldn't do anything. The media is very unhappy. The FBI might make me the scapegoat. Tell me about your operation when you get back. I guess it didn't help. So, anything else you can do? No, 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 no. Can't do anything about that. Well, damn. Anyway, uh, yep. shop. Upgrade. Upgrade stock parts. So that'll bring it up to 870. Whereas if I were to over 1000, so getting all those upgrades just to lose a little bit of health, I don't think it's worth it. Still vouching for a background like this. <laughs> <laughs> Something that could greatly raise the combo rate or lower the activation rate, or in this case, slightly upgrade, or in this case, uh, the other way around. Hmm. So, chance to greatly increase activating new skills while lowering the combo. Let's switch it out with that one. Uh, buy and leave battle skill. All the rest are just that. Start with you. Uh, yeah. Buy and leave. Buy and leave. Or 
as you, um, you're stuck with a high combo rate. Uh, we'll keep you with that. She's got nothing special, but I have yet to see anything activate from her. So I think I'll actually give her that, because I want to see some new skills come out of her. And same thing for that. For that, as for you, you're good with your combo activation, so you're good there. And... Okay, so I think that's all I can do for that. Let's do a few last-minute setups here. Uh, for you, let's see, left arm is a shotgun, so something that is not so combat-heavy, or at least melee-heavy, is what we're searching for. Shangdi might work, but I don't think it has that much absorption rate. Let's talk about that. Whereas you are more combat heavy, so we can find something with added health that would not be a problem with that. Like the Tiangdong 3. Hmm. I wonder, is that with or without the upgrade? Hmm. Let me just see here. Uh, oop. Uh, right arm with the This is really something I should have done off stream, so I sincerely apologize for this, but eh, I'm already here. May as well commit to this. Uh, don't think so. Okay. All right, moving on. Ping to Zen Yuan. <laughs> Kuski, Emma's exhausted. We have to stop. I'm fine. No, you're exhausted. I'm gonna fall over. We should take a break. Hey, there's a girl standing over there. I'll ask her. Uh, excuse me. We're Hua Lian rebels. Can I help you? Is there a doctor nearby? Why, is someone sick? I think she's just exhausted is all. I'm fine, don't worry about me. Mm, you don't look so well. I can't even stand up. Um, I don't want any trouble. I'm sorry. No, wait! I promise we won't cause any trouble. Just tell us where the doctor is. Koski, stop. You know we can't get civilians involved. I'm sorry, young lady. Will you promise me? Hmm? That you won't cause trouble in our town. 
So you'll help us then? Promise me. All right, I promise. And you are? I'm Li Xian. I swear, we won't cause any trouble, Li Xian. The name's Kazuki Takimura. Nice to meet you. Follow me. Here we are. Oh, cozy. Do you live all by yourself? I live with my brother, Kwong. So what about your parents? They're both dead. I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. Please, get some rest. That's just what we'll do. Thank you, Li Xian. Emma and Yun should rest here. Sorry to stall you guys. Likewise. Are you really all that tired? Hmm. Now I'm curious about something. Um, go out for the possibility that maybe there's a town nearby. And if that's the case, we could upgrade our stuff. Uh, just a bar. <laughs> so I actually might have skipped something along the way. Actually, uh, you didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let's engage in a few conversations. Hey, are you really tired? Of course I am. Are you calling me a liar? You certainly have enough energy to talk back. I'll cook up something warm. Yay! I want bamboo shoot soup. <laughs> yeah, she totally sounds sick. Completely sick. Emma, are you really okay? Yes, I just needed to lie down for a little while. Thank you for letting us stay here. Don't worry about it. Should I call a doctor? No thanks. I'll be fine. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, pointless dialogue, but I still feel justified doing that. So now let's head over to the Xian Yun bar. Hmm. Uh, jealous guy, regretful guy, xenophobe, and a bartender. <laughs> okay, just by that, we obviously need to keep the xenophobe last. <laughs> but let's talk to the jealous guy. <laughs> You're staying at Li Xian's house? She's cooking for you guys? Really? Uh, regretful man. This is not a village that welcomes soldiers. Just having you here causes trouble. Much like that accident eight years ago. The government was filled with people who wanted Vice Chairman Ming dead. Welcome. What would you like? Hmm. Eh, nothing. So now, what we really came here for, the xenophobe. Are you the bum staying at Li Xian's place? Don't ever hurt the two of them. What do we look like? A disease? The two of them aren't related, but they are a true family. Not related? And that was Kwong. Kwong grew up a nice young man, thanks to Li Xian. So don't cause any trouble for them. And I doubt that. And I don't think the conversation would have gone on any further. Maybe now there's a shop? Or just back to the house. Oh, you're back. Yes. You're totally popular. Everyone talks about you. That's not true. Must have been really hard adopting Kwong and raising him. Ryoko! Oh, uh, damn. So you heard. I'm sorry, we didn't mean to. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's not like there's anything to hide. Was Kwong abandoned? Yon, stop. But I'm curious! It happened eight years ago. I was 16. I went to a nearby mountain to collect some wild plants. I heard a loud roar, so I went to investigate. Commercial airliner had crashed there. Hmm. Lee, 
is something wrong. It's nothing. Please continue. The accident was horrible. I was about to go down the mountain to call for some help. Then I heard a groan. And that was Kwong? Yes. He was buried under what looked like his mother. She protected him. I'm sorry to force you to recall such an unpleasant incident. It's okay. I was able to receive a sibling because of it. Meanwhile, back at the bar. Sounds like she's lived a tough life. Unlike you. Right. Hey, go back to sleep. But this is too interesting. I need you all to listen to me. Huh? What's up? The plane was crossed. The plane crash was caused by the rapid reaction force. What? The sad thing is, I participated in that mission. Is that true? We had an order to attack an airplane carrying a VIP. A VIP? It was an order for assassination. Who was on the plane? Ming Huangju, who was the vice chairman at the time. Who ordered the assassination? The assistant to the vice chairman at the time, Jie Bo Liao. Wait a minute. Jie Bo Liao? He's the current chairman of the DHC! So this was right after Bai Tai Luong died, right? Ming, the capitalists, and GA. The socialists all were fighting for power. A likely conflict. So then Kuang's family was... They were all killed. And to think we were all GA's puppets. <sighs> that some revolt and stuff you guys did. I'm sorry. Hey, what's done is done. I agree. If Kwong is Ming's son, it might be possible to overthrow Chairman Jie. Why don't we check? Oh wait, there was more to that. I'm warning you. These young hate sturdy guys like you. Oh, I think he mentioned something about um, not getting too cozy with them despite sleeping over at uh, Lee Xiong's place. Don't you dare take that out of context, Opai. I know it's too late, but don't you dare take it out of context. I hate the military, but I hate politicians even more. Ain't that the truth? If only Vice <laughs> Chairman that. Ming were still alive. Chairman Jie killed Ming. There's no evidence. I wish someone had survived a plane crash. Hey, can I get another bottle? Thank you. Kwong, would you get another bottle for the seller? Yes, sir. You raging alcoholic. You'll understand when you grow up. No, hmm. thanks. Wait, didn't you just say Kwong? I think so. A bartender. Yes, another brandy. Uh, no, thank you. Um, is he Kwong? Why, yes, he always helps me. He's a great kid. He's Ling Xiang's brother, right? Ah, so you're the strangers over at Liang, Li Xiang's house. Yeah, is it okay if we talk to Kwong? Sure. But of course, there's still the xenophobe uh, option, so we have to do that. I hear you sniffing around about the plane crash eight years ago. What do you hope to achieve by doing that? Are you trying to find Kwong's parents? Li Xiang and Kwong worked hard to get on with their lives. If you break them up, I swear I'll never forgive you. Mm, let's hope it doesn't come to that. You must be Kwong. Yeah? And who are you? We're the ones staying over at Li Xiang's. I see. Nice to meet you. I want to ask you something to you, if that's all right. About me? Yeah. Something about your past. You mean the fact that I'm not really related to my sister? 
You mean you already knew? My sister told me when I turned 16. I see. Do you remember what happened? No. Nothing. You lost your memory? Maybe. I'm not really interested. So you don't wish to know? Excuse me, I have to take inventory. Please tell Li Xiang that I'll be home late. Alright. Such a quiet kid. <laughs> you guys don't understand. Hmm? What do you mean? He's just trying to be strong for a sister. Anything else? No! Just back to the house, so why not? Maybe it's just me, but I don't like the fact that um, somewhat sinister music is playing right now. How are you feeling, Emma? I'm much better. Thanks. Hey, weren't you sick? Are you worried about me? Can't leave me alone now, can you? Maybe if you were cute and helpless. It's too bad, though. Hey, what do you mean by that? Oh, back already? Yes. We met Kwong at the bar. He mentioned that he'll be home late. I see. I told him not to overextend himself. Does Kwong know you ain't his real sister? Yeah, I told him. He said that he lost his memory. Probably an after-effect of the accident. How much do you know about Kwong? Only his real name from his passport. And what is his real name? His real name is Kwong Ming. Dun dun dun! And you know what that name means. Are you trying to use my brother to make him a tool for war? No. But we cannot do anything, knowing that he is a Ming. Did you know about my father, Li Xiang? Kwong! I didn't know you were home! I've been mean to ask you all this time. Who are my parents? What happened to them? What's the use of knowing? I need to know the truth. You're my brother, Kwong. Why? Why won't you tell me about my parents? Fine. Do you want to know? Do what you want, because I don't care anymore. Li Xiang! Li Xiang, wait! Obviously, the only exits are North, South, and Dennis. Also, hi, Constantine. <laughs> Hopefully, your uh, lunch with Link stream went pretty well. Li Xiang. Why is she angry? She's afraid that you leave if you find out about your parents. Being a son of such a high-profile son, you'd never know. You know what happened to my parents? Please, tell me. All right, I'll tell you. But you'll have to decide where your own fate leads you on your own. I understand. And his name is Jie Bo Liao, the current chairman of Da Han Zong. So, Chairman Jie murdered my parents. You have one of two options, Kwong. One is to keep living this quiet life with your sister. The other is to pick up the slack where your father left off. But I don't know. We can't help you make this decision. Li Xiong. It's all up to you. I'm sorry, I need to think about this for a while. Be sure you think hard and make a decision that you won't regret. Hey, where's Lee? He followed Kwong. He's just like Hazki. I wonder if Lee is going to tell Kwong the truth. Hmm. What should I do? Can I talk to you? You're... Listen to me. 
<laughs> My squad shot down that airplane. What I'm trying to say is... I'm the one who killed your parents. Ugh! So what do you think of me now? You killed my parents. Yeah, that's right. You're a brave man. Brave? If you kept quiet, no one would have known. But you didn't. You're taking responsibility for what you did. It's not like that. I'm not brave. I don't know what to do. You're the son of a great man. What you do with it is entirely up to you. Up to me. That's all. Not gonna lie, um, that wasn't the expression I imagined Kwong to have. Hmm. If anything, I would have thought he'd lash out at it, but I guess considering his memory was still a bit fuzzy, it was kind of a eh, what a reaction to it. Please, Young, I need to apologize. About what? I told Kwong everything. What? What? You had to tell him sooner or later. But you don't trust Kwong? Of course I trust him! Li Xiang. Kwong! I've made up my mind. I'm going to pick up where my father left off. Do you even understand what you're saying? I think so. What did you tell Kwong, Li? Nothing much. You're all Hua Lian rebels, right? Yeah, that's right. Then please, take me with you. Is that really your final decision? Yeah. I never even thought about things like this before. Knowing what I know now, I want to help change this country. Why? Why, Kwong? I'm sorry, Li Xiang, but I've decided. You're the most important person in my life, Kwong. I promise, Li Xiang. I'll be back. Don't forget that you're my brother, okay? I won't forget. So what are you gonna do now, Kazuki? Let's take him to Guangzhou to meet Huang. He's a good kid. Yeah, there was no need for worry. Please, take good care of my brother, Kazuki. Of course. Uh, don't know for certain. Once we we're able to um, get back on the network, uh, let alone buy anything, we'll know for certain. Vice Chairman Ming's son is alive? Nice to meet you all. This is great news! In that case, if you join us, it might be possible to overthrow GA. Yes, morale is certain to rise. Luo, send a message to all of our branches. Tell them Vice Chairman Ming's son is alive and well. Yes, Commander. I won't let this end in tragedy. Guang, I'm glad to have you on board. Thank you. I'll do my best. Well, let's do a setup first, and let's see. Uh, the last one was Marcus. I'm not seeing uh, added units, so maybe he'll be an extra unit. Maybe not. Who knows? Guess we'll find out. Uh, let's set to Kwong first. Did I do the right thing? This is what you chose. Ling Xiang won't be here to help you anymore. I'll do my best. We'll do what we can to help you out, though. Thank you. Well, with Kwong on our side, we can bring an end to this war. With Kwong, we can prove that GA assassinated Vice Chairman Ming. Then we can finally overthrow him. Looks like you guys will be busy from now on. 
We'll start collecting information on our own. That's fine with us. But just keep in mind, it will be dangerous. I know. But at the same time, we can't do anything without any new information. I want to do everything that I possibly can. Commander, it's a dispatch from a man named Guan Lie. Did you say Guan Lei? Uh, I think he said Lie, but yeah, that's probably what he meant. Why, do you know him? Let me see that. Hey! Guan Lei, can you hear me? It's me, Lee! Lee? Good timing! Why are you contacting the Huan Leon rebels? I've been looking for you! For me? Can we meet up? I don't have that much time! I'll meet you in about two hours at the tea house in Foshan. Hey, wait! He's gone. Will you explain what's going on here? Yeah, who is he anyway? He's a spy for the USN. And you two have a deal going on? No. But he sounded alarmed. You sure he can be trusted? Yeah. Bet my life on it. He said Foshan. Yeah. I'll go by myself. You know that's far too dangerous. Don't worry. You guys collect information. I'll be just fine. Then... Why don't you all meet in Foshan? Jinxianqi is easy to find. Alright, that's where we'll meet up. Just be careful, Lee. I know. Actually, it would make sense if he was just like a guest character that didn't really have any real... Uh, push to go into battle. Since he is a very important person, we wouldn't want him to get assassinated in the line of battle. You know, not saying, just saying. Also, what is with this camp? <laughs> from what it sounded like I was in a carnival for a moment. It's like, oh yeah, we got bloodshed in battle. Oh, let's, let's go by the Ferris wheel. See if we can spend some time by there. Hmm. <laughs> Long time no see, Lee. Indeed. Sorry about the short notice. Ah, it's alright. Looks like you haven't changed a bit. Thanks. Hello? Hmm? What, you forgot? Is it... Ron Fong? Hello, Mr. Lee. <laughs> My, you've certainly grown so much. She was still little when you last saw her. You didn't come here to show off your daughter now, did you? Right. Well... Come with me. Sure. Ron Fong, will you wait here while I talk to Mr. Lee? Sure, Dad. So what do you want, exactly? There's been a screw-up. Again? You know I work as a spy for the USN. The last time I saw you, you were hiding out in a village because of a screw-up. Yeah, you ended up saving me because of it. What did you do this time? I got caught stealing classified materials from the DHC military. So what are you going to do now? I don't plan on troubling you. <laughs> Please, you've done that already by telling me this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So? Sorry. I wanted to ask you to protect my daughter. <clears throat> Just as a precautionary measure is all. <clears throat> Dad's Meanwhile, back at the carnival. <laughs> <laughs> Here's, here's three rings. Play a game of ring toss. So easy a child can do it. Sure, I'll do it. Thanks. You're always saving me. Don't worry too much about it. I know I can depend on you. And gunshot. Who's there? Did you get him? I got him. 
Find the girl. Wait! Lee. Guan Lei, don't try and talk. My daughter. Protect my daughter. Guan Lei! I won't let anyone touch Ron Fong. Ron Fong! Where's my dad? Let's go! Hurry! But my dad isn't here! There they are! Get him! Damn! Let's go out the back! W wait Guan Lei is dead. What? Your father died. But he was just here, celebrating my birthday! Guan Lei asked me to protect you. Why? How did this happen? Just worry about escaping for now. Wait! Hurry up! Do you want to die? We're going to run to a meeting place. What? What? There's nothing to worry about. It. Uh, the Epic Battle decided to do just a mini remix. A very mini one. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Dawes is having a hard time trying to get this horror film started. <laughs> Can anyone hear me? Please respond. Lee, what is it? Is everything okay? We're in trouble. Don't go near Xing Xiangxi. Wait, what do you mean? Soldiers, Foshan's dangerous. Go back to Guangzhou. Li, where are you? Are you at Jingxiangxi? Ending transmission. Uh, Ron Fong, your father was a great man. Why? Why did father have to die? You know what kind of job your father had. I know, but... I still won't accept it. <clears throat> They're here. Who are they? If we survive, I'll explain it. Come with me for now. <laughs> they sure can run. Positive they ran through here. Look out! You seem troubled. May I help? Oh, look, it's these guys. Oolong? Stay out of this! You must be crazy piling a wander through the city. Yeah? Weren't you the ones who requested an escort? You're supposed to work against the Hualian. Keep your nose out of our business and do what you're told. Who made you king of the world? Forget it, Rebecca. They said they'll take care of it. We'll simply stand by and watch. But our turn will come once they screw up. The Wulong. Mr. Lee. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Just stay inside for now. Son, this is Time Crisis 2. I can't hold him off all by myself. Do I make myself the bait so that Ron Fong can escape? Hey, Lee, you still alive? Sorry for keeping you waiting. I'm coming on by. Koski? I thought I told you not to go near Jing Xiang Shi. What kind of talk is that? We're your friends, remember? I just can't stand idly by and watch a friend suffer. <sighs> Too soft. Back up. Rudolph. It's them! I know. This must be fate. No one will interfere this time, Rebecca. 
Go get him. Roger. So if I had to guess, unless this game was feeling generous, Lee should not be selectable here. Which would make sense, because plot given, uh, he can't do so. Uh, so in that case, let's send you out. Drink. Uh, send you out as well. You out. Oh, I can only have three at this time? Oh, I didn't even see up to three. Okay, um... Uh, that's no problem. I can work with that. I think in your case, let's... fix it so you're anti-impact. Let me see, we got a couple... If he's even a part of this battle. But otherwise, that could be a good call there. Yep, guess so. So, one, two, three, four. Different units there. And, of course, these two here. Oh, she's got a grenade launcher. you, it's still the rifle. So, it's clear who the real threat is, so let's go ahead and take care of you. 99% chance, so only 1% chance of missing. Thank goodness it didn't. take care of the Wanzers, while Lee and Yun will take care of the other forces. Now, I'm pretty sure um, it would make the most sense. Yeah, pretty much basic conditions. Um, just survive. Make sure there's someone who is able to survive this one. Uh, I'm assuming can't counterattack, but would not surprise me. Hey, you gotta head off. Good for you. You did a thing. <laughs> so yeah, big shock going after... So yeah, basically, gunfire shot, ow. <laughs> oh, how could you miss? Fire shot, ow. <laughs> Just three feet in front of you. So first things first, let's take care of you. Low accuracy, but at least I have multiple shots, and each one is practically hit and or miss, so... Should be fine with the shotgun. Ow. Damn, not the one I 
I was hoping for, but I suppose it can work. Oh yes, attack me with your oh-so-deadly fists. <laughs> Ready to fire up! Yes! It was worth the risk! I'll have to pull back for now. Sorry. What? Over already? Well, that was quick. I don't Ooh, care. This is more for me. Hey! We can kill them all, right? Calm down, you two. Or you're gonna get hurt. Listen to Hatari. Rebecca was hurt. Be careful. I hear you, boss. I've got it all covered. Rudolph. These two are hopeless. So, yeah. Big shocker. Uh... Form address received. Yeah, now we have to deal with even more of these guys. So, of course, fire back with a pistol. Ow. They're just exchanging fires at each other. Not a big deal. Confused.